then I would cut it out. Okay. And you don't have to cut it perfectly. I'm not going to get into all my nooks and crannies. I'm going to cut where I can cut the best. But if I can't get into some pointy place, ugh, that's okay. If I cut a little bit of the edge off, that's okay. Because we are trying and we are learning. We are not going to try to be perfect. Perfect um, is something that most people can't do. We can be almost perfect, but we can't. It's hard to be perfect. So then I'll come over and I'll take this. And somewhere I had my other little pumpkin I've set down. Oh, here he is. And so I can get my glue and start thinking about where I want to put things on my picture. I certainly, since I have a funny line on here, I would maybe want to cover that pencil line up. And since the purple on purple is hard to see, I think I'm going to come back over to my blue one so you can see it a little bit better. And so I'll put a little bit of glue. Spread it around. If I wanted to, I can take my finger and spread it. And then go get a paper towel and clean my finger afterwards. Okay. And then find where I want to stick this. And I think I'm going to stick it down here at the bottom. Or maybe over here. Maybe right here. This might be a good spot. And so I'm going to stick my pumpkin on there. I still have glue on my finger. It's enough glue for my acorn. So I think my acorn is going to be a friend to my pumpkin. And so now I have two things stuck on here. Then I'm going to sit this to the side so it's not in my way while I'm working and go to the next thing I want to draw. What do I want to try next? Let's see about trying maybe um a sunflower. So I've got my sunflower paper. Again, I don't want to use the whole paper because that would be a lot. I'm just going to use part of the paper. And so I'm going to draw um, a circle for the inside of my sunflower. And then I'm going to start drawing some petals. Sunflowers kind of are pointy on the ends. Let me see if I can get one of these picked up over here so you can see it better. So here's a sunflower, the great big fuzzy brown middle, and then these the flower petals are kind of pointy shaped, little pointy little round, and then there's some green ones on the back. So I'm going to do my best to make that shape. Let's sit this here so we can see it. I'm not going to get upset if one of my petals is bigger than another or fatter. I'm just going to keep working and trying my hardest. I have to turn my paper to make certain my petals on my flower go where I want it to go. I could not do this if I didn't turn my paper. It's really hard if you keep your paper still. So there's the part with just the yellow leaves and now I'm going to come back in where the green leaves are and put some green. On here it's yellow because it's a yellow piece of paper. But can I take a crayon and come color it when I get done? Absolutely. So I'm putting my leaves. Just one or two more. And before I cut this out this time, I'm going to take a color. Um, it can be a crayon. It can be a color pencil. I don't know that I would use a marker to color it in because if you look, the color comes all the way through. And it depends on what kind of paper you're using. But sometimes if you color with nothing but marker, the paper gets really wet and starts falling apart. And we don't want our art to fall apart.
Now remember, part of these are yellow. These front ones that are closest to us are yellow. But these that are behind are green. So I'm going to color the green ones in kind of green. I'm using a woodless color pencil that I have. Um, something like this that's woodless so that when you sharpen it you're not losing hardly anything. It's all color. Um, is available to be found um, in the art section, the real arts, fine art section um, of Hobby Lobby. They have woodless ones for very inexpensive in a package where all of their fancy drawing pens and pencils are. Um, Michael's, I would think, have them too. I know Hobby Lobby does because I was there yesterday buying supplies to show for our lesson. So once I get my leaves colored in, just about there, I'm going to cut this out as well and glue it down. And then I'm going to keep working on these other leaves. This one's a little harder to cut, so if it's easier for you just to cut it in a circle, you can. Oh, I didn't color my center of my sunflower in. The center of my sunflower is brown, kind of a brown fuzzy. And so I've got a brown right here, and I'm going to color the inside of my sunflower in with it. And if you look, there's a little bit of orange on these petals. So if you wanted to, you could find an orange um, crayon or color pencil and add a little orange. Oop, my pencil lid broke. <laughs> oh, it's broke. Oopsie, it's broken. So I'm not gonna take time to sharpen it. I'm gonna look and see if I have another orange real quick. And I do the woodless orange. So I don't have to worry about it breaking. So I think I'm going to give some yellow, not all the way to the tips, just kind of in the center to make my flower look more real. And then if you are good with scissors and you want to come back and cut all the little pieces out, you can. If using scissors is hard for you right now and you're afraid that you would cut things off you don't want to cut off, then don't do this part. Just leave it in the circle like this other half is. It is fine either way. And then I would get my glue once, it's, once I have it where I wanted to and glue it down. Just to remind you what our leaves were, that we were drawing last week that we put in our book. You have these with you, are here. These are all things I taught you to draw last week. I didn't teach the pumpkin, I'll show that real quick. So you can look back in your book for these leaves and draw them and cut, color them in, cut them out and put them on your wreath yourself. I'm not gonna teach the drawing of these this week. I will teach how to draw a pumpkin, since I did not show you how to do this. Um, I dropped my paper, I'm sorry. So here's a piece of paper I have. Drawing a pumpkin is the easiest thing. You're gonna start with this middle piece. So we're gonna draw a roundish, looks a little bit like a fat carrot. Then we're going to touch the top and draw. Looks like I'm putting hair on a person's head now. Okay. It's fatter at the bottom than it is at the top. Then we're going to do that again. And we're going to do that one one more time. Now it needs its stem, so you can take this and draw it, okay, and that is our pumpkin. If 
you wanted to make it look like it's got a little bit of something behind it, a little extra pumpkin back there, you can. Then, if you're using the orange paper to put this on, your pumpkin would already be colored. If you are using white paper, you need to get something and color it in, color your pumpkin in orange. If you wanted to make yours look more Halloween and less like a fall or autumn project, then you can always put a jack-o'-lantern fa face on your pumpkin. But that's the choice you have to make, okay? I'm not, um, we're not doing a Halloween lesson because we've got um, friends of ours um, who can't or, or whose families celebrate things differently. And so not everybody ob observes, celebrates Halloween. Um, that's why we have Red Ribbon and we dress up in characters. We don't really do Halloween here. Um, but you could make this more Halloween style if you wanted to. So here's another. And so I can just keep making and cutting and putting things on. And then eventually this is full. And your, your finished picture will look something like the one I showed you at the beginning that I have since buried under my supplies. Here we go. It will look, once it's glued together, oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. Might look something like this once you get everything down and you make these other leaves and glue in on it. If you want to do a butterfly and add it on top, you can. If you want to make a bow and add it on top, if you want to draw some grasses to have stuck out, you can. This is your wreath to make. Make one, take your time. I should not see a finished lesson turned in today. Um, this is going to take time to do to make a complete one. And when you get done, take a picture of it and send it to me. Have a good week.